Hello. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, Daniel. Good evening, well, Nancy is getting connected. How are you today? Good? Good evening. Good evening, Nancy. Hi, you. Very good. Thank you for asking. Just ready for the class, you know. And you, are you ready? Yes, yes, yes teacher. Puntual. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Exitos. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Any questions? Mm -hmm. um, what is the difference in the pharmacy and the drug stores? Is mm -hmm. similar? It's similar. It's the same. Right? Oh, okay. It's the same. Sometimes the thing is that uh, they call drug store uh, because um, pretty much they have to. They sell more like medications that you Hello. have to receive a receipt, right? Hello, Manuel. Como es de esas recetas que le dan los médicos que no se la venden sin receta previa, right? So that's, that's what the drugstore does. And usually in the pharmacy, you can get any type of pills. Pero venden lo mismo, prácticamente. Ah, oh, okay. Venden a lo mismo, sí. Exactly. Good question. Fine. Thank you. You're welcome. Permítame, voy a desconectar esto un rato. Okay, I had a problem with my headset. Okay, are we good now? Yes, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Me escuchan. Yes, yes, yes. yes okay. <laughs> Very good. Hello, Saul. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Good? So, so? Yeah. Yes. Uh, me dijeron que me preguntara si tenían alguna duda con un mensaje que les había yo mandado. ¿Tienen alguna duda acerca de este mensaje? Um. No. Al parecer les han enviado un mensaje de parte de Inglés Corporativo y me gustaría saber si tienen alguna duda al respecto. A sus correos uh, electrónicos, no. De, no le descripción. Ajá, correcto, no descripción. Visto, Revisen esos correos, por favor, y los leen cuidadosamente cuando los hayan leído. De... Sí, díganme. Que dice que de lunes a viernes es y dos horas diarias. Exactly. 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 That's a, that, that's a new program. Mm -hmm. Es de lunes a viernes con dos horas diarias. Entonces, ahí ellos les van a brindar toda la información sobre los cursos. Pero eh, se tiene que con, contactar con la persona a cargo. Ahí le dan los contactos. ¿verdad? Si tienen más dudas de, o quieren el flyer para más información, se los puede enviar a, al que esté interesado por WhatsApp para que ellos le den todos lo, los detalles de eso. ¿Verdad? Y ese tiene un costo, Ticha. Eh, no, le, no le sabría decir específicamente el costo porque ellos solo nos indicaron que les preguntaran, eh, les preguntáramos si habían recibido el correo y si tenían dudas. Así se podrían comunicar con ellos. Hasta esta ah, hora okay, no, okay. no lo he recibido, teacher John. ¿Puedes re eh, revisar spam, Nancy? Ah, podría ser, ahorita. Revise spam o junk mail. Hello, Esmeralda. Hello, ja eh, Jesse. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Ok, cuando revisen, si tienen alguna pregunta y quieren que les envíe eh, los documentos, me avisan. Así yo reviso también por acá, ok? So, let's Perfect. start with the class, right? We're going to start with section four. And, well, section four and section five are pretty much the same, okay? So, let's see here. Let's go ahead and work with you. Now I'm going to show my, my screen, right? In section four, 
in section five, it's the same topic, right? And the topic is, did you have fun? Right, that's the topic, right? With the topic, uh, can you see my computer? Yes. Yes, okay, yes, very teacher. good. <laughs> very good. So in this one, in this topic, what we're going to do is that we're going to talk about the simple past. Look at this. The simple past, it says here, the action happened at a specific time in the past, right? And I need you to look at the, um, the picture, right? Now, when we say now, right here, that's at this moment, that's uh, uh, today. Right, that's now. But the past is everything, everything that happened before. Right, that's what we'll talk about the past. Right now, we are not going to talk about the future. Okay, we're going to talk about the activities that we did before. Right, not the activities that we uh, are doing now. So when we talk about the simple past, remember that the simple past is the action happened at a specific time in the past. So we can say Michael jogged yesterday. Jog is like running, right? Michael okay. jogged yesterday. Or we can say he jogged last night, right? So we have two words that we can use, last night, yesterday, you can use those phrases to refer to the past, right? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about the simple past. Uh, in other books or in other classes, you can hear the past simple is the same. Okay, el, el simple past y el past simple es la misma cosa con diferente orden, right? So that's what we're going to do today. Is that clear? Okay. Yes? Yes. Okay, very good. So now, if we talk about the simple past, right? On the, on the web portal, on the, on the website, you had an activity there that says simple past, right? And I want you to look at this. I want you to look at this picture, right? In this picture, we're going to pay attention to the order of this of the sentence, like the formula, right? Do you remember we practice with formulas, right? So with this formula, we can see that we have the subject, the verb, and the complement, right? That's what we have. And this example is a positive example. Oops. This example is a positive example. And then we have a negative example. This is subject plus auxiliary didn't, plus the verb, didn't. plus the complement. That's what we have, right? And we have two new things in this case. We have the auxiliary, that's new, and we have the spelling of the verbs, right? So we're going to pay attention to that. Right? We need to pay attention to those things so we can actually work together. Eso es lo nuevo que vamos a ver. Lo nuevo en, es, en el simple past, que no lo conocían, it's going to be the auxiliary didn't or did not and the spelling of the verbs. Right? I need you to look at the spelling here of these verbs, right? Look at this, right? The verb is study. I study English every day, right? That's the verb. But if you want to say this in past, you are going to change the verb, right? So you're going to say, I studied English yesterday, for example. So we're going to add something new here, which is the spelling that we're talking about, right? That's what we're doing. Okay, do you have questions so far? Okay. Any questions? Any questions? No? No. Yo, teacher, yo, uh -huh. teacher, solo, solo respecto al correo. Dice que ya revisé y no he recibido nada. 
Ah, ok. Entonces, si gusta, vemos eso después. Mándeme un WhatsApp y lo vemos después de la clase. Ok. okay. Ah, va. Está bien, Pichel. Gracias. Ok. Perfect. Thank you. So, do you have a question about the simple pass right now? Simple pass. No? Questions? Tienen preguntas? Mm, no. No? Are you sure? Yes? No? Okay. Um, now, any questions? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Siempre el pasado de los verbos es con, es con la terminación IED o hay alguna otra forma de... That's, that's my next point. <laughs> Very good. That's my next point. Right here, right? Previously, we just worked with this, right? The simple past and we have ED or D and then we have didn't. But this is the formula. Right. These are the forms of the past simple, right? We have two types of things in simple past that we need to remember. One of the first things that we need to remember, right, is regular verbs and irregular verbs, right? Regular verbs, they end with, with ed, d, i, e, d, right? Those are the endings of those verbs. Los verbos regulares pueden terminar en ed, d, o i, e, d, right? That's what we need to pay attention. That will be regular verbs. For, for the irregular verbs is different because here you're going to change the whole verb. Cambiamos todo el verbo, right? This verb, when we say go, right? That's present or the base form, in la forma base. Pero si lo queremos hacer en pasado, we need to change it to went. Right? So the whole verb changes. It's a new verb, right? A new spelling. Right? Tiene el mismo significado? Yes, it does. Right? For example, we have the verb run. Do you know this verb? Run? Yes. But, yes? Okay, very good. Yes. This is the verb the ver in the base form. In the base form. And then I want to make this verb in simple past. Then it will be ran. Run. Look, this will be simple past. Right? So if it is simple past like this, then this verb is going to be an irregular verb, right? That's what we're gonna have. If I have the verb here, right? Do you have a question right now? Alguna pregunta? No? Are you sure? Pregunten, pregunten, porfa. Que no les dé pena. Please ask questions. Este yo, teacher. Este, fíjese que siempre, ¿verdad?, que uno se topa con esos verbos irregulares, pero así como en el caso de when y go, también así puedo hacerlo con los otros. Por ejemplo, run, el que usted acaba de poner, puede decir que he didn't run con u, o lo tengo que cambiar por ser irregular a run. Ok, right now we're with the affirmative form, right? But when we go to the negative, yes, we are going to use the auxiliary, right? Ah, ya, ya, entendí. Yes. Gracias, Yes, dicho. pero primero vamos con el afirmativo, luego el negativo y luego las questions. Ok, good. Good question. Very good. Very good. Right now, about this, do you have a question? Angel ya analizó lo que vamos a hacer ahorita. So, very good. That's good. Okay. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta sobre esta parte? Do you have a question? No? No. Okay. So, since you don't have a question, I'm going to keep moving. Okay, good. Le voy a estar enviando la imagen a, 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 su, a su WhatsApp. Okay? So, we have there the first part, right? So, now, 
we're going to move to the second part. That was affirmative. Now let's take a look at the negative form, right? The negative form, as Angel was asking, right? We have in the negative form something that we're going to do very, very simple, right? In the affirmative form, we just have this, right? We change the verb. We make a new verb, right? In the negative form, what we're going to do is that we're going to add auxiliary, didn't. Right? That's what we're going to do, right? And the verb, look at the verb. The verb stays in the base form, right? Si agregamos un auxiliar didn't para la forma negativa, en el simple past, el verbo no, ya no va a cambiar. El cambio que le hicimos en la forma afirmativa, right, is not needed in the negative form. Because this is, this auxiliary, this auxiliary shows the past, right? Or oh, that's telling me, oh, Sylvia, that's past tense, right? So for example, if I have the verb uh, I ate pupusas, okay, pupusas yesterday. That's affirmative form, right? I ate pupusas yesterday. That's affirmative. Then now I want to make this a negative form. What would you do? I, I ate mm -hmm. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't eat. I didn't eat. eat. Pupusas. Very good. Pupusas yesterday. Bueno. I didn't eat pupusas yesterday. I ate a salad. Que gala. Okay. Right? You see? Now the verb is, uh, it, this verb, ate. Ate. Is this regular or irregular verb? What do you think? Irregular. It's irregular. Very good. It's an irregular verb. Because the whole spelling changes. Right, so we say, I ate pupusas yesterday. In negative, I didn't eat pupusas yesterday. I didn't eat pupusas. I didn't eat pupusas yesterday, excellent. Okay, very good. So that's what we have. Do you have a question about this? Yes, so yes. this is, this is a question is puzzle simple, past simple. Yes, it is past simple, correct. Todo lo que estoy explicando es solo el simple past. No nos vamos a meter en nada más. So look at simple past. It has three forms. Number one, affirmative. Number two, negative. Then questions. Question. Mm -hmm. Question. Okay, very good. Teacher. Yes? Para entender un poco, en esta forma negativa, he, she, he, siempre vamos a utilizar didn't. We, yes. You, they, es igual, didn't. Yes, exactly. Very good. Very good. That's okay. correct. With all of the forms, with, Cambia. yeah, with, uh, with, oops, sorry. With I, you, we, and they, with all of them, we are going to use the same auxiliary, right? So, didn't. Right, equals I, you, we, they, he, she, and it. All of them. Very good, that's perfect. Another question. Alguna otra pregunta? Sí, la forma singular. Siempre va a ser ti, didn't? Yes, or everything. Okay. Everything. Yes, very good, Miguel. Very good. Another question? El didn't lo vamos a utilizar para todo. Aquí no vamos a diferenciar entre I, you, we, they, no. Eso, eso se utiliza para el simple present, right? Pero para el simple past, vamos a utilizar eh, la misma sí, forma para todo. Entonces. Uh -huh. El didn't 
bueno, no estoy corriendo usted. Entiendo que él vi el to be pasado, ¿verdad? No. No, it's not to be. It's not to be. Y didn't is an auxiliary. Y, y se utiliza solo en las ah, negativas. Tú. Yes, in negative question, in negative sentences and in questions. Look. Right? In okay. negative sentences and in questions. So did is an auxiliary. This auxiliary is telling us that we are talking about the past. Si ustedes ven este auxiliar, ah, es pasado, right? Pasado. Yes. Okay. And this did, uh, listen to this. Did, ¿se recuerdan de este verbo? Do. ¿Se recuerdan de este verbo? Yes, no? No. Teacher. Do. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Teacher. I didn't do my homework. Ah. Oh. Do, el past tense de do is did. Right. Pero podemos tener do y el auxiliary did en la misma oración para que no se vean confundir. Right. Por ejemplo, en la forma negativa, right. we can say, for example, like this. I need you to pay attention. For example, we can say, I didn't do my homework my homework last week okay so we have the auxiliary didn't and we have the verb right entonces quiere decir que este auxiliar lo vamos a utilizar para todos los verbos aún para el, para el verbo do is that clear sí, una pregunta yes este y, y fíjese que yo una vez vi que no usaban el do, sino que, por ejemplo, si es ese ejemplo, ¿verdad? Decían, I did in my homework. So that was correcto. incorrect. No, that was incorrect. Eso no estaba bien escrito. Quien lo escribió, lo escribió mal. Uh -huh. Ah, uh -huh. ya, ya. Está bien, gracias. Ok. So, now, do you have questions about the negative form? Questions about the negative form? No tienen preguntas sobre la forma negativa? ¿Seguros? Ok, vamos con todo entonces. Ok, very good. ¿No tienen preguntas? Si tienen preguntas, háganlas, porfa, porque recuérdense que solo esta semana tenemos y no quiero sí. que vayan perdidos. Ahí. So we have simple past today, tomorrow, and Thursday. So I want you to ask questions. Si tienen preguntas, díganme. Ahorita yo les estoy explicando, pero vienen un montón de ejercicios. Es decir que siempre, siempre vamos a utilizar el did not. Eh, siempre que utilicemos el pasado negativo y las preguntas. Exactly. Exactly. Incluso, incluso cuando ocupemos el verbo do. Exactly. Very good. Very good. That's what we're going to do. Right? And that's what we have questions. Right? I want you to look at the questions here. Right? I want you to look at the questions. In the questions, look at this. And no, I think I'm going to make another slide. Le voy a hacer otra. Otra, otra pantalla. Permítame. Wait a minute. No, no tendrá una pantalla con el verbo have. Have. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that right now. Okay. Good. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So. Here, we're going to practice. I need you to pay attention. Right here, wow. I have the past tense of have is had. Right, that's the past tense. How? So, yes. So we can say, I had a lot of 
Mm, I had a lot of homework. Yesterday. The teacher me dejó un montón de tarea. Right? I had a lot of homework yesterday. This is positive or negative? Positive. It's positive. positive. Very good. It's positive. positive. Now, I want to make the same sentence. I want to make the sentence in negative form. So, what should I do? I have some. I did a lot of homework yesterday. Okay. Listen. I didn't. 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 I, I didn't what? What is the verb? Have. Have. Ah, have. have. I didn't have, have. A, lot a lot of homework yesterday. Homework. Me fui para la playa, right? La teacher no me dejó tarea, me fui a festejar. That would be negative form, right? Okay. So I have positive and I have negative. Now I want to make the questions. To make the questions, right, what, are, what we're going to do, it's very, very simple, right? We're going to use the auxiliary did at mm -hmm. the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. and, then, right. and then we're going, usually, uh, para aprender la estructura, lo vamos a utilizar como mismo subject, right? Pero oh. sería, se escucharía loco como decir, y tenía tarea ayer, right? It's like, you don't remember, right? It's like you don't remember. It's like I pensan, ¿y será que si tenía tarea? No me acuerdo, right? But we're going to make that just to, to remember the structure, right? Did I, what? what? What do you think is next? I have homework. How? Did I have a lot of homework? Lot. Yesterday. A lot of homework yesterday. And something very important to make questions is the question mark, right? And this will be a question, right? But in real life, you're going to ask, Miguel, did you have a lot of homework yesterday? That's the question, right? That's the question. Okay. Oh, Miguel, did you, did you, right? Se va, van a utilizar en esta parte acá, van a utilizar el subject pronoun de la persona a la que se están dirigiendo. Right? That's what we're going to do. We can say, ah, Miguel, uh, did Nancy have a lot of homework yesterday? Uh, right? You're talking about Nancy. Right? Entonces, esta parte de, okay. de, esta parte exactamente acá, esto se lo estoy mostrando con las oraciones para que vean la estructura. ¿Qué, qué parte va acá? Auxiliary plus subject plus main verb, plus the complement, right? That's what we're gonna do, right? And then I have the questions and I want to answer, I want to make a short answer. Do you remember short answers? ¿Se recuerdan de las preguntas, de las respuestas cortas? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, so if I yes, want to I give- did. Yes, I did, very good. Yes, I did. Or negative? No, I didn't. didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Very good. Perfect. These two, right? These two are short answers. Okay. These are short answers. We are going to use short answers just like this. But you can say, for example, uh, did, did you have a lot of homework yesterday? No, I didn't. I went to have, I went to the park yesterday. So you give more information. Ustedes cuando hablen inglés y vayan a una entrevista laboral, las short answers solo les van a ayudar para decir sí o no, pero después ustedes van a querer dar más información, right? Porque las entrevistas no se pueden quedar cortos. So you want to give more information, right? So that's why you're going to use uh, uh, yes, I did or no, I didn't. Right? That's what we're going to do. Now, is this clear right now? ¿Estamos claros por el momento? ¿Alguna pregunta? Beautiful people. Hello. 
Uh, yo tengo una. L. Siempre con este verbo, en, esta, en este tiempo, uh -huh. en pregunta, el chi, el it y el... Todo es igual. Hey, todo es igual. Todo se va a mantener así como dijimos al inicio. No yeah. vamos a... Los subject pronouns here, I, you, we, they, he, she, it, todos los vamos a usar de la misma manera. Pero sí, tiene que confirmar para que quede bien claro que todos los vamos a usar siempre igual. Solo en el simple present es que hacemos el cambio, right? que los separamos. But otherwise, we do not separate them. Good, very good. Do you have more questions? Más preguntas? Hello? No. Are you sure? No, for the moment, no. No, for the moment. Okay. So look at the, look at the, the formulas. These are the formulas. Look at this. In the affirmative form, Nancy, can you read the, the formula for the affirmative? Miguel, Affirmat okay. negative in questions, please uh, do that, Saul. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nancy? Okay. I... Just, okay. read, just read the formula. Oh. Mm -hmm. In affirmative. Mm -hmm. Yes. I play. No, in... solo lea la fórmula. Por el momento ah, solo lea. Ah, ok. <laughs> Subject plus verb in, verb in past plus complement. Very good. Negative, Miguel? Negative. Subject plus deep plus not plus verb in base form plus complement. Ok, very good. And the question, Saul? Question, did plus subject plus verb plus complement. Plus question mark. Okay, very good. So here, if you look at this, the main difference between a affirmative form and a negative form will be this. Esa es la diferencia. Right? Acá dice verb in past. Here we have verb in base form, right? So we have a difference there, right? We need to be very careful with that. And then we have the questions. We always, always, always put the auxiliary first. In this case, the, and the question mark at the end, right? We need to be very careful with that, yes. Si no ponen el question mark, va a estar malo. Right, so we need to remember question mark. Okay, very good. Do you have a question about this so far? Alguna pregunta de estas de estas de, yo, de esa estructura? Uh -huh. Yo estuve viendo un video donde se ponía precisamente hablando de esta estructura, solo que en chi eh, en el hey chi it le ponían el do más el es. No, pero eso es el simple present, Miguel. That's okay. simple present. Sí, usted tiene toda la razón que se cambia el... Oh, Manuel se fue. Se cambia prácticamente el he, she, it cuando estamos hablando del simple present. Pero en este, este es otro, otro tiempo. El, el que usted está hablando se utiliza para hablar en la forma, eh, por decir algo, ustedes, ¿verdad? Que ustedes dicen, hay... I, uh, I study English every day, right? And then we say, Miguel studies English every day. That's when we make the change, right? So what you're talking about, uh, Miguel, is this. I want to show you here. Les quiero enseñar de qué está hablando Miguel para que rapidito. Pero ese Miguel es el... Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, you're talking about simple present tense. Mm -hmm. This is what you're talking about. And mm -hmm. we are practicing right now simple past, right? And here you can see here does, right? When you have here, let's see if I can make it bigger. Right? That's when we have the changes here, right? 
Los, los cambios que se está hablando son estos. Right? They are totally different. Entonces, es un tiempo diferente el que estamos hablando. Ok. Ok, okay, okay. good. Very good. Now, let's see. We have right now, we're going to work and we're going to see. We're going to. Viene tormentón. Ok, we're going to make a change right now. We're going to make a practice, very small practice. Vamos a hacer lo que Nancy quería hacer. Hace unos dos minutitos, right? We are going to use the formulas. I already sent the okay. formulas to, to your WhatsApp messages. We're going to use the formulas. And we are going to try to use, right? We're going to try to create Teacher, sorry. sentences. Yes? Me voy a sentar en unos tres minuticos. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, we're going to try to create right now the sentences. Right, based on the information that we have practiced. Vamos a tratar de practicar la estructura. Right, that's what we're going to do. Vamos a tratar de escribir nuestros propios ejemplos. Pero para eso, le voy a mostrar yo unos ejemplos a ver si eh, hemos tratado de entender y vamos a tener también otros ejemplos de verbos. Okay, so I have here on my computer this exercise. Look at the exercise. The exercise says, Tim, right? Tim is talking about this weekend. Complete the sentences, then compare with a partner, right? Tenemos el ejercicio. And it says there, right, on the exercise, I don't know, let me see who's there. Um, Margarita. Margarita, can you please read this part until here? Hasta acá. Please. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. On Friday night, I wait for a phone call, but my girlfriend didn't call. Very good. Very good. So what are we going to do right now? We are going to try, right, to put the correct verse in order, right? Si se fijan, tenemos un verbo regular y un verbo en negativo también, right? So that's what we're going to do. Va a decir, pero no me puedo los verbos todavía. Don't worry. Right? You have Google, so you can use Google right now to see the past tense of verbs. En Google, ustedes van a poner, por ejemplo, acá, right? Past tense, sorry, past tense of uh, stay. Este es el verbo que estamos buscando, stay. Past tense of stay. ¿Quién me puede decir que encontró en Google? Vamos a ver. Usemos nuestros deditos en el teléfono. Stay yet. Uh -huh. Stay yet, teacher. Stay. Okay. Can you please spell that for me? S. How do you spell okay. stay? S. S. T. A. Y. E. D. Very good. Right. So that's what you're going to do right now. Right. We're going to work right now. We're going to make. We're going to know all the words, right? And we're going to know what team did last weekend, right? That's what we're doing. ¿Está claro lo que vamos a trabajar? Yes, right. teacher. Okay, very good. Yes. Is it clear? Yes, no, maybe. I'm going to yeah. send you right now the exercise. Y quiero que, que, que se apropie de los verbos, porque los verbos nos van a ayudar para crear los ejemplos de la, de la otra slide que ya les envié, ¿ok? De las fórmulas. Right, so we have there. Right. Ok, I'm going to make the groups right now. So we can work, let's say I have two. Teacher, una preguntita. Yes. Mm -hmm. eh, vamos a trabajar esas oraciones del cuadro o inventadas. No, ahorita vamos a trabajar con team. Team. Les acabo de enviar el ejercicio de team, right? So, con el ejercicio de team, this one. Okay, did you receive this, this exercise on your WhatsApp? Do you have yes, it? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Okay, very good. So, you are going to complete this paragraph with the verse that you have there. So, we have the answer waited, didn't call, and stayed. 
So that we have another verb is watch, visit, talk, listen, invite, cook, cook not though. work, not study, walk, and shop. Esos son los verbos que tenemos, right? Okay. Esos verbos son los que vamos a utilizar y si no sabemos el simple past porque estamos comenzando, por eso es que no nos vamos a preocupar. Les enseñé ya cómo buscar el past tense, right? En Google, para que vayamos apropiándonos de los verbos. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. <laughs> very good. So let's start working right now. Let's make groups. Let's work in pairs. We're gonna make three groups right now. Okay, please join the groups. Let's join the groups, please. Vámonos a los grupos. Solo me voy a quedar esperando a Miguel que va a trabajar con Esmeralda. Porque había salido aquí. Okay. Oh no, it's, Miguel is there. Jesse, can you please join the group? Fine. How are you? Okay. Okay. Start the exercise, please. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Start. I just stayed. Stayed. Yeah. <laughs> stayed. Mm -hmm. Stay. Stay. Home. Home. And um. Watch it. 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 Yes, right now only regular verbs. Vamos a ir uno por uno. No podemos ir todos de un solo. Tired. Watch a TV. Um. Watch a TV. I visited. This, ¿cómo, cómo sería la visit. visit. Visited. 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 Okay. Visited. 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 Okay. Visited. 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 Ya vino Miguel, no sabe. Sí, aquí estoy, no teacher. Pero ¿Dónde? quiero entender. Dígame. Quiero entender cuál es la dinámica, cómo vamos a encontrar la fórmula para hacer el, el. Ah, ya le expliqué. Esmeralda le va a decir ahorita. Esmeralda, vamos. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer para hallar el, el, el simple path del verbo? Algo bien facilito. Bien. Ajá. El, el verbo que está en presente tenemos que hacerlo en pasado, de acuerdo a la oración que vayamos desarrollando aquí. O el Ajá. Que Pero como ahorita no se pueden los verbos, ¿cuál es la mejor forma para hacer? ¿Cómo, cómo haría? Un poco me explicó, entendí que es ED o AD. No, no. Ok, so, we have different, different options, right, mm -hmm. for us to work here with the verbs, right? Mm -hmm. We have different, different options. We have the options for, let me see, I'm going to put here the, the, in the chat. We have ED. We have I E D. We have only D. Esas son las, termi las terminaciones posibles que puede tener usted en los verbos regulares. Ahorita estamos solo con los regulares, right? Mm -hmm. Only regular verbs. So those are the possible options that we have, right? Pero yes. estamos conscientes que no lo sabemos en el momento. Entonces, what we are going to do, right? Es que lo vamos a trabajar. Pero para saber el, 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 cómo se escribe el verbo, lo vamos a poner en Google. We're going to put on Google, for example, past tense of uh, watch. Y le va a aparecer, la primera opción que le va a aparecer es el pasado de watch. Right? Watch. De los verbos que tenemos. Yeah, exactly. Watched. 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 Watch. Very good. So that's what we're going to do. 
Ahorita quiero que se apropien de los verbos para que entiendan cómo, cómo van los verbos. Right? No se van a aprender todos hoy, es mentira. Right? Okay. 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 ok. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. ¿Puedes hacer un <coughs> No, miss. <laughs> ok, I'll be back to you, ok? Thank you. I white. Teacher, ¿cómo pronuncio white? White. White. Wait. Wait. Ah, okay. What is the sentence that you're trying to say? The first mm. on Friday night. On Friday night. And wait. On Friday night. Where is that one? No la miro. En el, en el párrafo no la miro. Oh, on Friday night, I waited. I waited for I a phone call. Waited. I, I waited, waited for a phone call. Okay. Se escucha el sonido de la lluvia. No, teacher. No se escucha. No. no. Okay. Thank okay. You. okay. On Friday night, I waited for and the phone call, but for and the phone call, but my girlfriend didn't call. I use a safe home and watch TV. On Saturday, I visit my friend from. We talk. I'm listening to music in the evening he invite invited. some invited. Teacher invited. 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 Ah, okay. Very good. Invited. Okay. Invited. Thanks. <laughs> in the evening he invited some friends over. And we cook. We cook. 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 A great meal. A great meal. I didn't work very hard on Sunday and didn't study at all. I just walk to the Mal and shopping. Interesa shop. 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 Pero lleva, lleva, sí, y, eh, de. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. that's correct. Okay. That's correct. So no worries, okay? okay. <laughs> okay. okay, thanks, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. Ya nos vamos a ir ahorita. Ya terminamos. Okay. Let's okay, go. Okay, teacher. We're gonna wait for the others. Ahorita no quiero que se preocupen porque es la, creo la primera vez que estamos viendo todo esto. Right? So I don't want you to worry. Right? Okay. We're going to wait for the others. Vamos a esperar por los demás. Did you finish the exercise, Jessie, Jessica, Margarita? Yes, teacher. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so I think everyone is here. Two, four, six. How many people I have? Okay, very good. So now, we're going to, I, I want you to share the answers for this, right? For the exercise. And tell me here, what do you have as a group? Right. So I am going to start and then you continue. Vamos a leer desde 
el inicio de la oración, que es con la capital letter, hasta el final de una oración. Uh, please put mute on your, on, your, on your screen. Le voy a poner mute a todos. Okay. Very good. Now, you're going to go ahead and read from the capital letter, from the beginning of the sentence to the end of the sentence. See, that's what we're going to do. Vamos a hacer eso. Vamos a leer uno por uno eh, los que vamos participando y el que empiece va a leer desde el inicio de la oración hasta el period and then you stop. Right? And then we have another person. Okay? Another class. Okay, teacher. Perfect. Okay. So I have, I'm going to start. It says, Tim is talking about this weekend. Complete the sentences. Then compare with a partner. Sentence number one. On Friday night, I waited for a phone call, but my girlfriend didn't call. Let's continue here with uh, the first one on the list is Esmeralda. I just, Esmeralda. Okay, I just stayed home and watched TV. Very good. I just stayed home and watched TV. Very good. Now let's continue there. The second on my list is Angel. It's three. On Saturday. Okay, okay, Chiti. On, on Saturday, I visited my friend Frank. Okay, perfect. On Saturday, I visited my friend Frank. Very good. Now let's continue there. Jesse Aguilar. We. Okay. We told and listen to music. Okay, we talked and listened talked. to music. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Now let's continue here, Saul. In the evening. In the evening, he invited invited some, uh -huh. invite some friends over and we cook out. A great meal. Okay. In the evening, he invited some friends over and we cooked a great meal. Very good. Now let's continue, Miguel. I. Miguel, are you there? Hello, hello. Okay. You continue. You're next. I. I know work very hard. Sunday. What's the past tense? What do you use for negative in past tense? Work it. Mm, what is no. what do you use? <laughs> what auxiliary do you use, Miguel? Think. Only Miguel. Only Miguel. Mm -hmm. I did not work. I did not work very hard on very Sunday. Hard on Sunday. Okay, very good. Nancy, let's continue. I okay. I did not study at all. At all, very good, very good. And let's see here another person, Margarita. I just walked to the mall and shopped. And shopped, very good. I just walked to the mall and shopped, very good. So that's what we have, right? Necesito que copien en su, en su cuadernito o algo, la información que tienen ahí, cómo llenaron ustedes el párrafo para que lo tengan en mente, right? Now, you have homework to do. Tienen que, que trabajar con, bueno, aprenderse o tratar de, de trabajar y ver las fórmulas, right? We are going on the web portal, en el portal de, de estudiantes, en el que usted tiene, tiene acceso. La sección 4 y 5 es del Simple Past. Okay, so we have to be very careful. In with the simple past, what we're going to do here, this is like, uh, like the rules that we have. Esas son como las reglas que tenemos para escribir el pasado de los verbos regulares, right? The past tense of regular verbs, these are like the rules, okay? For writing, only for writing. But these are the rules for speaking, right? For writing, for speaking. Two different things. Las dos cosas son totalmente diferentes. 
Todo lo que les estoy mostrando son verbos, right? Y tenemos diferente pronunciación. Tenemos diferente escritura y diferente pronunciación solo por, para verbos regulares, right? Acá les estoy dando una lista de como de alrededor de 20 verbos para que se entretengan entre hoy y mañana. Right? So, I need you to practice these verbs at home. Right? Try to understand uh, the spelling, try to understand the structure, and try to understand the pronunciation. No quiero que se preocupen, solo quiero que los lean. Estas dos slides que les estoy mandando ahorita, solamente quiero que se familiaricen con ella porque mañana la vamos a practicar en clase. ¿Ok? ¿Está clara? Ok, okay. teacher. Okay. 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 No, no se me asusten, por favor. <ríe> no se me asusten. Uh -huh. Sino que quiero que, que estas dos se las lleven. La primera es para escribir los verbos. ¿Ok? Son las reglas para escribir los verbos. La segunda son las reglas para pronunciar los verbos. Por ejemplo, para no decir um, walk it o cook it, right? Tenemos las reglas específicas que lo vamos a usar. Estas dos slides nos vamos a apoyar con la información que tenemos en el sitio web. Necesito que revisen el sitio web, te vayan a la sección 4 y 5 para que estemos en la misma sintonía. ¿Está that clear? 4 y 5. Ok, very good. So, we practice today the formulas of uh, simple past. Who can tell me what are the formulas of mm, positive sentences in simple past? ¿Cuál es la fórmula para el simple past in positive? Uh, yes. Yes. So, yes. So, okay, Close. one person. Let's just start with Jesse is going to tell me positive, Nancy negative, and Saul is going to tell me questions. Porque fueron los que hablaron. Okay. So Jesse, positive. Okay. Uh, subject plus ver in past plus complement. Plus complement. Very good. Nancy, negative. Negative. Subject plus did plus not plus verb in base form plus complement. Very good. And Saul, what's the formula for the questions? Did plus subject, plus verb, plus complement, y question mark. Marker, question marker. mark, very good. Now, Angel, how many type of verbs do we have in simple past? ¿Cuáles son los dos tipos de verbos que tenemos en simple past? Repeat, please. What please are the, I don't listen. What are the type of verbs that we have in simple past? Ah, D and didn't. No, that's the auxiliary type of verbs. I don't understand your question, teacher. The verbs are regulars and? Ah, in irregulars, yes, yes. Irregulars Regular and irregular verbs. Ahorita, ¿cuáles trabajamos esta noche? Regular and irregular. Irregular. Irregular verbs. We practice regular verbs. We practice regular verbs. No hemos practicado los irregulares todavía. Porque los regulares son los más difíciles. So that's what we need, have. we need to have more time. Okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, people. So I will let you go right now. Have a beautiful night. Vamos a terminar acá. Ya son las 8, las 9 de la noche. Lo voy a dejar. Eh, por favor, practiquen. Y mañana nos vemos con más del Simple Pass. Okay? I'll see you tomorrow, okay. guys. Teacher. Teacher, okay. teacher, solo para los que no recibimos el correo, ¿le mandamos un mensajito aparte o en el grupo? Eh, aparte, porfa. Bye. Gracias. Sí. Ahorita Thank no lo voy a contestar porque voy a clase. Le voy a contestar yes, mañana. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. teacher. Thank Good. you. You're welcome. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night.